So as of yesterday, we have over 200 subscribers and over 30,000 views on our channel. So thanks a lot. You guys are awesome. We have a special guest in today's video, the girl, the myth, the legend, Abigail herself. Can you tell everybody hi? Up here? Hi. All right, you want to show them your new sensory room? This way. Come on. <laughs> so this is Abigail's sensory room. It's actually Abigail's walk-in closet, in case you couldn't tell. So our biggest problem with Abigail, behaviorally, uh, is what we call power hour. The 60 minutes or so right before she goes to bed are her most active, her most destructive, and her most violent. Uh, that's when things get broken, that's when she's pinching and hitting and things of that nature. So we, we, what we wanted to do was to build an area where she could be um, active but still be safe and, uh, and an area small enough that she could kind of calm down right before bed, bring down her stimulation, and keep everybody, everybody else sane at the same time. So I'll give you a brief little tour of everything that we added to her sensory space uh, so that you can see what we did, maybe get some ideas for your own. First of all, of course, you see Abby's beanbag chair. Um, just kind of her chill spot. She can hang out there and play with her sensory board. We actually hang her sensory board right there on the wall. Um, that's the do-it-yourself sensory board that we had in another video. I'll make sure I link that up in the corner of the screen as well. On top of the shelf up here, we've got some sensory tubes, uh, just a wide variety. They're filled with different stuff. Those are actually store-bought tubes, uh, not not the ones that we had in the in the DIY video. Uh, then, of course, our bean jug that is from our DIY video, and a couple couple of rain sticks, bag of blocks. These are sensory blocks. They do different things. Each block is a little bit different. Uh, sight, sound, touch, that kind of that kind of thing. That's her weighted vest that we that she sometimes uses. And this is a weighted blanket. Abigail likes deep pressure, so that's a big help when we're trying to uh, destimulate. And that's an exercise ball that we use for deep pressure. So we put a sheer curtain up just to kind of bring down the harshness of the lighting. And instead of traditional lighting, what we have up there are two LED bulbs. One of them is a multicolor rotating LED bulb, and the other one is a color changing LED bulb with a remote control. So as you can see when we switch those on, that's the multicolor LED bulb, and that's the color changing bulb. Here's the remote control for the color changing. We use blue during the day because blue lighting actually stimulates brain activity. And then red at night right before bed uh, because that, that has a calming effect. Now the rotating LED light does have a little bit of sound to it, so if, if uh, your kid is real prone to to sounds like this produces, then you might want to stay away from that, but it's not very loud. I, I'll turn the mic around so that you can hear what it actually sounds like. So that's the sound coming from the bulb itself, uh, from the motor while it's spinning, versus the, the volume of my voice. These are like dollar store stretchy scarves that we found, um, just to add some color and add something to the room. And then the main piece you probably notice is this wall. Well, this wall is for the ball pit. I know it's not an impressive amount of balls in the ball pit. Um, I bought two bags, it was not nearly enough, so we've got to get more. So we couldn't find anything that fit well in this space um, and that was big enough for a middle schooler. So Isaiah and I actually built this uh, using plywood, some fleece material from the fabric store, mm -hmm. and a pool noodle. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Building a wall. It looks like it's gonna be tremendous. It's gonna be huge. Then some L brackets, mm -hmm. attached it to the wall, and uh, keeps it real sturdy. So, big old kid like Abigail can climb over without destroying it. The last thing we have to do for the sensory room is I've got some window tint, and we're going to tint this window so that it doesn't let in a whole lot of light, kinda of keep it dark in here, and the LED lights have a lot cooler effect when there's no ambient light going on. But she loves it in here. It's definitely her favorite room in the house. She can kind of do her thing. I don't, I, don't have, I don't have any music. We need to get music. Music, we need music in here too. Can you say bye? Tell everybody bye. Bye. Say see you next time.
Can you tell everybody to please subscribe? Say subscribe to my daddy's channel. <laughs> Bye, YouTube. <laughs> That's the camera. Bring that back. <laughs> Thank you. See you later. Sorry about the weird fisheye lens, but it's a small room and I wanted to get everything into the frame. So I know it kind of makes things look look abnormally larger than what they actually are. Which is because I'm actually thin. You may not know this. It's the lens.